Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your Samsung SSD using the Samsung Magician software. Now updating your firmware is something that you want to do on a regular basis just like you do anything else with your PC. You know updating windows, updating your graphics card drivers, your chipset drivers, your BIOS, all of that stuff. It's really simple, easy to do, don't be afraid. I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is Google search Samsung Magician software. You're gonna be brought to this web page right here. Uh, this web page kind of gives you a little bit of an overview of the software, everything it's capable of. So you got smart check, uh, drive health, performance benchmark, diagnostic scan, over provisioning, which we'll get into in a minute, performance optimization, all that good stuff. It even has data management um, tools built in, which I don't use whatsoever. So encrypting the, the software or the data and then um, securely erasing it in case you want to sell it or get rid of it for any reason. And then down at the bottom, it even has the update part where you'll update the firmware. So at the bottom of the web page, you'll have the different files that you can download. The one you're going to want is the Magician software and it's version 6.1. And then down below, it shows shows you all of the different versions it supports. So for the M.2 drives, it supports the 970 Pro, the 970 Evo, the 970 Evo Plus, and then for the SATA drives, it actually supports the 860 Pro, the 860 Evo, and then the 860 QVO. So even down here at the bottom, it gives you a little bit more information about those drives. So I'm gonna quickly overview each one of these tabs. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time into each one because the overall point of the video is to update the firmware of the SSD. But you can see in driver information, it gives you a little bit of information about each drive. I've got four drives in mine. I've got one Western Digital and then three Samsung drives. One is the M.2 and then I have two other that are SATA drives. And details, drive details, it just gives you a little bit more information about that particular drive, whichever one you have selected. So you've got the drop down box. And then like I said, it gives you a little bit more detailed information so you get a serial number the firmware version all that stuff how much free space you can even do a performance benchmark if you want um, i'm not going to do that in this video so if that's something you want to test on your ssd you can do that um, it's it just kind of gives you the performance let you know how fast it reads and writes information to the drive the diagnostic scan so as you can tell it will basically go in and troubleshoot your drive if you're having any type of errors or blue screens or anything like that and it's not going to let you if it's not compatible so you can see my my 970 is not compatible so if i go down to the 860 evo one terabyte it is fully compatible with this so i can do a diagnostic scan if i wanted to so if i started to have issues with that then you know like say if my game started to crash or i, or I had issues issues with my games or whatever then I could do a scan and see how you know if that helped it that's where I have most of my games installed the over provisioning is going to be basically there in case you want to allocate a certain amount of space to improve the performance of the drive or the overall lifetime of the SSD I'm not going to go in and adjust that either because I've got plenty of space in my drive I don't need any extra space for that I'm gonna let it um, manage it on its own I'm gonna use the recommended setting and then you have the performance optimization so this is where you can go in and defrag basically your SSD you do not want to defrag your SSD you want to use this tool to optimize and, and help speed it up so if you have any type of issues where you think your drive slowing down or whatever you want to use this tool to optimize the drive do not use the windows built-in uh, defragger that's something that you do not want to do with an ssd so at the bottom you've got three sections here for data management you got security grace so for whatever reason if you want to get rid of your drive if you're getting rid of it throwing it away or selling it or whatever you can go in here and run that and it will get rid of everything on there and, and make sure that's secure so nobody could recover it the revert down here so in case you happen to encrypt any of the um, you know information on the drive this can kind of go back and unencrypt the encrypted storage and then uh, again below you have the encrypted part where you could go in and you could say okay I want to encrypt this entire drive all right so we're gonna go ahead and get into the whole point of this video which is to update the firmware so at the bottom you have an update tab you just click that this takes you to this window right here now this will even show you the current version of the of the actual Samsung magician software and it will update pretty regularly I mean I've already updated it once or twice I think since I've installed it but then it shows you your drives down here at the bottom and um, if you need to update the firmware so as you can see here I've got the 860 Evo one terabyte and it shows that it needs an update so it gives you the current version of the firmware and then the one that it's going to update to so you can see the big difference here will be the 3b6q to the 4b6q now once you hit update it's going to say this will shut down your computer before updating the firmware and then it's going to basically do that on the reboot so what you have to do is hit OK and then what it's going to do is it's going to go in and say firmware update is in progress 
and then it's going to, once it's finished, it's going to shut down the computer and then it's going to reboot it. So right here it says latest firmware download is complete, system will shut down in 20 seconds. You can go ahead and hit shut down and what that'll do is shut down your computer and then when it comes back up we can check the software or the firmware to see if it's been updated and we'll see if it actually worked. Okay, so once the computer is shut down, you will have to reboot the computer on your own. You're going to actually have to go and push the button and turn it on because the software doesn't restart the computer. I'm not real sure why that is, but you'll have to go ahead and turn the computer on on your own. You go back to the update and you can see that we have the X60 Evo down here at the bottom and that it shows latest version RVT04B6Q, which is the one that we actually updated to. And then it goes ahead and tells you that you're currently running the latest ver uh, version of the software or the firmware. So the Samsung Magician software is just as awesome as their data migration software. If you haven't tried that, out or checked it out yet and you're thinking about upgrading from mechanical drive to an SSD I'll go ahead and put a link to that right here but their data migration software takes all of your information from an old hard drive and then easily transfers it to a new SSD including the operating system all of your files makes it simple so that you can just replace it in your computer and then boot up straight from your SSD but this magician software is pretty awesome because it helps you keep your firmware up to date it optimizes your drives and even encrypts stuff like that even tools that I don't even use you can benchmark like I said so again if that's something that you're interested in I definitely think you should check out this software. All right, guys, so just like always, I hope this video was able to help you in some way, make it easy for you to update the firmware on your SSD, make it a little bit stress-free. Um, if you have any comments or questions, just leave those below. I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next video.